Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Yorio from the Cordova Mobile TV channel, also previously known as the Hacktroid team. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a review on this ROM or this system for the LG G4. Um, it's a 7.0 Android version on uh, Nougat. So we're going to be taking a look. Um, this is one of the best ROMs available right now for the LG G4 and it's one of the most um, recent ones also. There's um, some good ROMs but they're outdated already. Um, they're either Android 6.0 or something lower. So this is the most... Um, uh, recent one with the latest update from uh, from Android so we're gonna be taking a look today um, um, I'm gonna be showing you the, the system and if you're interested in into flashing this one I'm gonna leave the link in the description below uh, we're gonna um, be going over you know the features that it has um, some of the known bugs that it has um, so far um, I haven't found anything uh, other than the it, the other day give me a problem in the file manager but so far everything seems to be working fine um, if you click on the link in the description below um, uh, it's gonna tell you some of the bugs bugs that it might have uh, but you know I hadn't I haven't had anything uh, at the moment uh, but we're gonna see uh, further further ahead what's gonna happen so yeah this is the LG G4 um, uh, kind of old phone kind of it's been a couple of, a couple of years that it came out um, and this is the 7.0 Android version and this is actually from the LG G6 so if you use the LG G6 it's gonna be very similar um, it, they just basically got the system from that phone and then just um, modified it to be compatible with this one. Obviously there's going to be a couple things that are not going to work uh, that are only for the LG G6 because the hardware stuff and everything. So let's start with the with the software and let me show you that it's actually a 7.0. Uh, let's go to software. And as you can see the theme is a little bit lighter than the, um, the regular one, the 6.0 that comes with this one. And as you can see there it says phone name G6 and then uh, if you go back to software info, uh, let me see, software info, it says Android 7.0, right there. There. As you can see, it's 7.0 Nougat. So, I'm just going to go over real quick um, some of the stuff that it has. As you can see, it's, um, it's a lighter theme, obviously. Um, I haven't touched anything into this phone other than rooting it, but I haven't changed any of the themes. So, as you can see, that's the original wallpaper, some of the settings over here. Mm. Very similar, very similar. Uh, some of the new stuff that it has is probably the screen sharing over here. I haven't tried it. Um, and some of the file sharing over here. Um, I don't know what this color convention conversion is. It looks like it just inverts the colors. Um, I didn't have that before. And like I said, I tried other ROMs. I had a Lineage OS, but it was um, pretty much beta. And they're not going to be supporting it anymore for the LG G4. So this is pretty much your best bet right now if you want to have the latest. Uh, let's check out the camera because on Lineage OS, actually, I had a... A big problem with the camera it was giving me um, it was really laggy the photos were really bad uh, let me show you one of the pictures that I actually took as you can see over here um, it fills the full screen compared to the lineage OS it would only take like a 16 um, aspect ratio I think um, there would be like black parts in here and I tried adjusting it to full screen but it wouldn't let me um, I really don't know why as you can see the colors look pretty natural and everything um, just like it, it is with the with the one that comes from the factory uh, as you can see in the camera, um, this is one of the things that I like the most. It has a lot of features over here. If you go to um, uh, modes, it has one for slow motion uh, and has one for time lapse, something that I didn't have before in the stock LG G4 um, software. Panorama, multi view, snap, and all that stuff. Um, I'm not going to be going over a lot of the details. Most of this stuff is just in, uh, features, extra features that don't really matter that much. But this is the front one, as you can see over here. Uh, and it's pretty good. Um, uh, it looks a little bit um, better, I think so. I'm not really sure. But like I said, most of the things that I'm interested in, it's uh, the time lapse and the slow motion that I didn't have that before. Right, another thing that I want to point out is that this um, uh, software actually comes deep loaded. So basically, they removed all of the apps that are non-essential. Um, so basically, when I got this phone, uh, it only had, uh, for example, uh, the dialer, a browser, which it was Chrome, the Play Store, and certain things like that, music. Um, I had to add all the Google Apps, which is the Google Maps, um, Google Drive, uh, Gmail as well. Um, it came with the camera, the clock, and all that stuff. So basically, only that's uh, basic stuff. And then, if you need anything else, um, uh, you're gonna have to download it. It came with a uh, mobile hotspot as well. So next, we're gonna go into the phone app. Uh, as you can see, they retouch some of the themes over here as well. Um, just like the LG J6, basically, yeah, a little bit more updated. And one feature that I actually love that I missed, um, that I couldn't use over there on the on the Lineage OS, my bad. It was their video call. So I actually lost that feature when um, when I went to Lineage OS. Someone um, that had another phone like this one, uh, probably another LG or another LG G4. Um, there's a lot of phones that it's compatible with. Um, I wouldn't be able to video call. Um, I haven't really tried it if it works. Um, check out the description below. I'm gonna try it later today. Uh, sorry for that noise as it is. I think it's the um, the truck for the for the trash. 
Um, but anyways, I'm gonna mm, try it out and I'm gonna let you know if it works. Uh, check the uh, the description right next next to the link. And as you can see, it looks pretty nice. Um, the settings, same thing. And like I said, there's not much to it. It's just pretty simple. The only thing is that uh, basically it's an updated version from the original one that comes with it. And it's really nice. Um, like I showed you, I showed you the pictures. One of the things is, is the launcher. It's really weird. I don't know. I don't know if you noticed. Uh, but you can change this stuff actually. Uh, there's no. Uh, uh, app drawer, um, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, app drawer. So basically, what you have to do is just swipe up and stuff like that. But you can change it back to the regular one. Um, let me see if I remember how. Yeah, you go over here and then you go to home screen settings and then you go to select home. Uh, you can go to the regular home and uh, yeah, it's called app drawer. That's what it's called. And as, as you can see, it's the it comes back to the regular one. I really like the other one for some reason. It looks it just looks more clean. Um, by the way, it came with uh, with the Google Assistant already. Um, and like I said, it, there's not much to it. Uh, this is just a quick look. Um, it, if there's anything else that you would like me to check out for the LG G4, or if there's anything that um, you need to fix because you're having a problem uh, that I might be able to help you with, um, please leave a comment below. Uh, by the way, when I was um, installing this system, I made a mistake. Uh, I actually installed another SIP. Uh, just, um, I thought I would just let you know because I, I think it's going to be helpful information. Um, not if you're installing this one, but if you have the LG G4. Um, so basically I installed another system and I break the phone. It wouldn't have a notification light, it wouldn't turn on, it wouldn't do anything at all. And I just thought, oh man, I, you know, it's gonna be trash. Uh, I'm gonna have to get rid of it. But then um, I found a way to unbreak it um, and it worked pretty good, as you can see, it works right there. Um, I didn't use the, the regular KDZ method because it wouldn't turn on. I wouldn't be able to put it in emergency mode. So I used an SD card. So if you're interested in that, maybe your phone is bricked or something, um, let me know. Um, maybe I, I'll make a video if enough people are interested and show you how I did it. Um, it worked out for me uh, because I have the T-Mobile one. Uh, so yeah, let me know. And this was a quick review. Well, a little bit more than a quick because it's going to be a little bit long. And it was a full review basically of the uh, system from the uh, ported version of the LG G6 to the LG G4. Alright guys, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.